So what is wrong with these people driving with their top down on the car when it's so cold outside? That's what I thought before until I actually borrowed this car from my brother. This is a SLK 55 AMG and I'm driving with the top down now even when it's uh, very cold. So let me explain how this works. <laughs> Outside now it's around 13 degrees. Not warm. I would wear a jacket if I wasn't sitting in the car. But since the, you have this, that blocks most of the air from going inside the car. So it kind of blows over the car instead of going inside the car. You can see a little bit of wind on the top of my head, but that's about it. And the heating system in many of these convertibles is so good that sitting in this car is like sitting under one of these, uh, these gas heaters that you have for sitting outdoors when a little bit colder. So when, first, when I saw people driving these cars with the top down, with around five degrees, I was like, oh my God, they're crazy. Why would they do that? Just showing off. But no, not really. It actually is comfortable. If I close the top now, put the heating system on full, it will be like a sauna in this car. It's, it will be so hot that it, you can practically not be in the car. And the design of these cars, except one thing I don't like on this, is this window, it cannot be closed. If you could close that, that would be perfect. So when you see people driving around in their convertibles with the top down in the winter or, or uh, when it's not warm, Wait a second. They're not just showing off. It's actually really comfortable to do this. Only issue, you can get a bit stiff neck if you, if you sit like this and you get the wind on the side here. And also you have these vents behind me. That is called an air scarf. That one is uh, blowing hot air around your neck. So whatever air comes from here, gets warmed up and you have hot air blowing on your neck. So that's why you uh, see people driving around in their convertibles when it's cold outside. Yeah, if I put the heating on full now, it's actually too much. So I, I don't really need that the car to be warmer than uh, have them about half of the blowing, but maximum temperature. So, and that's perfect. And I have heating in the seats plus the air scarf. I can't complain, this is just great. Now I'm on my way to my brother's place, to uh, our brother's garage, to pick up my car. I'm gonna drive around, do some TikToks with, uh, with it. Uh, pick up my girlfriend, she's the one who's doing TikToks with the car. Because, uh, that tends to generate a lot of views, for some reason. When you put the car away, you have to wash the car so it's nice and clean. Next time I'm gonna use it. So the reason I laid on foam twice was first I lay the foam, then I get all the sand and everything off. Then I lay the foam again and then I wash it with the, I don't know what that's called in English, 
Wax on, wax off. Then we have to take the car, I'm going to drive. I'm not gonna wash that, I'm just gonna rinse it off because it's, uh, it's been standing inside for a very long time without being washed. Or it was washed when we put it in, but you know. I'm gonna take all my stuff from this car, put it in the other car. This car is really loud. It's uh, when you cold start it. I'm actually selling this one now. So, R8 V8 2009. Now I'm gonna pick up my girlfriend. I'm gonna go make some uh, photos and TikTok videos with this car. I'm gonna go to the gym after that. Because I have to stay fit. The heating system in this car is also good, but it does not nearly as good as in that, uh, that uh, convertible SLK. I'm waiting for Melanie and while I do that I'll edit a um, TikTok video. I have found the Melanie. so funny when she tries to come out of the car <laughs> and she also very jumpy show people how you get out of the car Melanie <laughs> it's like a parody <laughs> 